Hi, this is pet dentist and oral surgeon Joe Banyard and I'm going to tell you the tale of two dogs with bad dental disease. This is part one, Zoe's story. So who was Zoe? Well, she was a five pound white female spade Maltese and she was first seen by me when she was nine years and eight months of age. She'd been to a large corporate practice in two different cities and over eight years she'd seen six veterinarians she'd had five physical exams five annual tests for Lyme, Ehrlichia and heartworm she'd had fecal testing, deworming, flea treatments four CBCs and chemistry four vaccination series five EKGs five intraoc pressures uh, ear cytology and treatment her anal sacs had been expressed once She'd had six dental cleanings under anesthetic and they'd been hand scaled and polished. No intraoral x-rays were done. And in the two previous dental procedures, extractions had been recommended for incisor teeth, but the owner had declined due to her fear of anesthesia. There was no home care done. This is what I saw while the pet was under anesthetic and the oral findings were as follows. In the upper right, there was heavy saliva at the back of the mouth and it was cloudy. In the front, you can see by those two arrows on the right picture, a lot of gum swelling and gum recession. Here is the front view and you can see swelling on the top jaw and the bottom jaw around the teeth. This is the left side and in the front, there is a lot of swelling and gum recession of that upper canine tooth and as you can see on the right image, there is swelling of the lower canine tooth. The gums were inflamed around the upper canine and incisor teeth and the right lower molar tooth, way at the back. This is the molar tooth on the lower left, showing the same sort of inflammation. Under the tongue, there was also inflammation. This is an area of the tongue that sits against the lower first molar teeth and so if there's plaque there, this is the kind of thing that can happen. You can get an infection. So we took full mouth intraoral x-rays and this shows you all the x-rays needed to get a good look at all of the crowns and all of the roots of the teeth. And here I have made a composite of the images just so that you can see all of the teeth. And you can see based on your previous viewings of my videos, that there is a lot of periodontal disease, there's a lot of bone loss. So in the right upper jaw, there are five teeth that need to go, and I'm gonna try and save that upper right canine tooth. That's where I've got the green letters GTR. And here is the right lower jaw. There are five teeth that need to go because of advanced periodontal disease, and left upper jaw, five teeth that need to go because of advanced periodontal disease, and I'm gonna save that upper left canine tooth with guided tissue regeneration. And then on the left lower jaw, there are four teeth that need to go because of stage four periodontal disease, and I'm going to try and save the lower canine tooth with bone augmentation. And then after the extractions, this is what we have left. We still have uh, quite a few teeth, but there are a lot of bad teeth that have been removed, and these have all been x-rayed to make sure that they are all gone, including the roots. And this is the top jaw after extractions, and this shows the left lower canine tooth, which I treated with bone augmentation. One month later, guided tissue regeneration was performed to save the left and right upper canine teeth. In order for guided tissue regeneration to work, anesthesia and special materials are needed and the pet owner and the pet need to be committed to daily tooth brushing. Four months later, all around the teeth, there is a probing depth of half a millimeter, which is excellent, excellent home care. And this makes all the difference to long-term comfort of the pet. And you can see this is the summary of what was done. All the X's show all the teeth removed. 
The M's show all the teeth that were missing when I first saw it, and then I've been able to save three of the most important teeth, the canines. And now the pet is much happier and more comfortable. Thanks for watching, and please watch the next video, The Tale of Two Dogs with Bad Dental Disease Part 2, Jenny's Story. Please like, subscribe and share. Bye.